R.C. Davis here with Stephen Holt, guard out of St. Mary's, 6'4". How'd the workout go today? It went really well. You know, it's competitive just like any workout. We're all in the same position, just trying to get drafted, trying to turn coaches' heads. And, you know, we did a lot of ball handling at the start. Just want to see our handle. Um, a lot of shooting, little different sets that we came out of as far as shooting curls and stuff like that. And the main thing I just want to see is compete. You know, a lot of three-on-three -three towards the end. And, you know, it went pretty well. In these workouts, you've already been to Chicago, Sacramento, Utah. In these workouts, is it hard to not try to overdo it or overthink it and try to show something that maybe isn't really a part of your game? Uh, the biggest thing is that you can control what you can control. And I've told people this, you know, it's your attitude, how hard you compete, are you the one talking, how high-fiving, are you sprinting in and out of drills and stuff like that. And I think that's the biggest thing that I've been able to show. You know, I'm a pretty good shooter, been able to get to the basket, show my mid-range game and stuff. And, you know, being a 6'4 point guard, you got to be able to create and score. And uh, that's what I'm trying to show in these little 3-on-3, 2-on-2, 1-on-1s, whenever we're, we're playing, just trying to show those little aspects of my game to these, these coaches and scouts. You played point guard in high school in Portland. Did you play like combo under Randy Bennett or what, what primarily did you play? Yeah, so uh, Coach Bennett recruited me as a point guard, but um, I had to wait three years because I had two, two, two real good point guards ahead of me, being Mickey McConnell, who was the last person cut from the Mavericks this year, and also Matthew Delvadova, who's pl currently playing with the Cavs. So um, it was, I think it was a blessing in disguise. Um, those three years I had to play off the ball and uh, learn how to score without the ball mainly because my whole entire career since playing basketball, I've always been a point guard and had the ball in my hands and had to create for others and for myself. And so when I finally had the opportunity to play point guard my senior year, you know, I thought I flourished um, being able to create for my teammates and for myself. And, you know, all, all my uh, numbers, you know, went up. And, um, you know, unfortunately, we didn't make the NCAA tournament, but we were able to go to the NIT and win a game. And, uh, you know, overall, it was a great senior year. And, um, but yeah, no, it was good playing point guard and getting back to my natural position. Whereas in college and in prep ball, it's about over, you know, your overall game. But in the NBA, a lot of times it's about having a niche or having a specialty. Is shooting what's going to get you noticed? I think uh, shooting, um, athleticism, and my ability to compete. I think um, being a 6'4 point guard, I bring a lot of intangibles to the to the table as far as de uh, defensive wise, um, using my length, being able to guard one through the three, um, my ability to rebound. I've always took, taken pride in my rebounding abilities and also steals. And um, you know, I just try and. Uh, dominate in you know, all facets that I can and uh, just try and have not as many weaknesses and just, just try and be competitive and control what I can control like I said and that's my attitude how hard I work in and out of practice and in these workouts and stuff like that so it's always um, just trying to be the best that I can. You mentioned your former teammates Mickey McConnell and Matthew Della Vadova. did they give you any advice in these workouts prepare you for specific things that you're going to be looked at? Yeah you know, I think the, the main thing that they said was being be in the best shape of your life, basically. You know, to never put your hands on your knees, always run in and out of drills, make sure you're the one talking, make sure you're the one clapping, just make sure you're the one that's running all over the floor in these three on threes defensively. So then when you're on offense, you know, make sure, you know, your legs are set underneath you because you'll be in the best shape of your life. So they just made sure to do that, but then mainly just enjoy the process. Um, traveling all to these different workouts and teams, you get to meet a lot of new people, build relationships compete with all these top name players all over the country and stuff and you know they just said you know be in shape and just enjoy the process. We mentioned your shooting but you're also a good defender you had nine steals in your first college game is that true? Yeah that's true yeah my first game you know it's just one of those things like mainly I've been best at on the ball steals as far as picking people's pockets and stuff but uh, I'm also good at coming through the passing lanes and stuff and you know just one of those games I was at the right place at the right time and I was being real aggressive getting steals and I think coming into college that's what I was most known for as as a defensive type player where now I had to change and mold my game into a you know a better three-point shooter um, I've always been able to you know get to the basket that's been my niche but uh, just the ability to shoot the three ball mid-range and you know short floaters and stuff that's what I had to change my game into these past four years at St. Mary's and it's got to continue to get better with that stuff. You're a Filipino American, Heat coach Eric Spolster right now in the finals, he is too. The national sports in the Philippines is, is pretty much basketball. So yeah. just talk about your background there a little bit. Yeah, I know it's it's ironic. I actually got a chance to meet Coach, Coach Spostra uh, my senior year in high school because we went to the same high school Jesuit in Portland. Oh, okay. And so he probably doesn't remember meeting me, but obviously <laughs> I remember meeting him. You know, I was a senior. It was this uh, alumni luncheon thing. And I remember, uh, you know, I was one of the few students I was able to go out, have lunch with uh, this little uh, small group. And, you know, I was able to meet him and stuff like that. And, you know, it was a good experience and obviously being half Filipino, half black, um, 
you know, culturally, I'm very diverse. Uh, my mom, my mom's Filipino, my dad's uh, black and stuff like that. And, you know, it's been good. I mean, obviously, over the Philippines, you know, they have great basketball support. And the fact that, you know, Coach Bolster is coaching one of the best teams in the league, you know, it's, that, that's, that's speechless. It's, it's awesome. So. <laughs> Where are you off to next? I'm um, flying to Cleveland later this afternoon, working out the Cavs tomorrow. Well, travel safe. Good luck. Stay healthy. And thanks for coming to Warriors.com. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. For Stephen Holt, I'm R.C. Davis for Warriors TV.